Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Pate from the Pate Realty Group in Wake Forest, North Carolina. Today is February 1st, and let's take a look at what's going on in real estate today. Number one, the Fed has held its, uh, the rate steady at a 23-year high. They're not even going to consider any rate cuts, according to the Fed chair, until the inflation begins to get closer to that 2% marker. So that's very important. Um, of course, the Fed rate doesn't really affect uh, the mortgage market, but inflation, the mortgage market rates typically follow inflation. So we definitely want to see that go back down. We are seeing rates around the six and three quarter to seven percent area here in the local triangle market right now. So it's better than it was three months ago. Um, it's just not going to go back to that 2.5 percent. If you're waiting on that, you're going to be waiting forever. I think that if we're lucky, probably get some high fives towards the middle of the year, maybe get lucky enough to get to a five and a half maybe a little below that before the end of the year this year with the election coming up. Second thing, for those in the Raleigh market, there's a person going around to luxury realtors, and he's using the name Jason Cohen. Now, we're not sure if that's a real name or a fake name, but we know he's providing a proof of funds letter from what also appears to be a fake name from the, the banker that he's using. If you're a luxury broker, please be careful with this, as it could be, at best, an incredible waste of time for you, and at worst, it could compromise your safety. So be careful out there. You can read a lot more details on that at my Brian Pate uh, Seminars Facebook page. So just go search Brian Pate Seminars on Facebook and like, and then we'll be happy to add you to the page. In local statistical news, there are 4,946 active listings on the market in the Triangle MLS this morning. That is down from one year ago, 5,338. If you look at it from a percentage standpoint, it's a 7.9% drop in the number of listings. That means that if you're a seller, it's it's a great time to sell because of that historically low inventory. So that's what's going on in the real estate market. Finally, I was able to attend a ribbon cutting this week for the new 16-bed surgical unit at WakeMed North Hospital. With the opening of this facility and soon to be adding 35 more uh, additional hospital beds at that location, healthcare is becoming a lot more accessible for our growing area of North Raleigh and Wake Forest. So we're very excited to, to see the Wake Med expansion. So keep up the good work, you guys. Folks, remember that the only thing you can't do in life is nothing. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you again soon.